Hi, so it's been a hot minute, hasn't it? Um, I think I've not uploaded in like two months, probably more now. Don't ask why, I don't know what happened, I just sort of lost the flow a little, but guess what? She's back and she's better than ever, yes god, hallelujah, oh god! For today's video, what we're going to be doing is discussing my experience meeting the cast of Season 1 of RuPaul's Drag Race UK. The original intent of this video was to have a big vlog, like a really cool vlog, and I got some vlog footage, but not enough to make a whole video, so what I'm going to do is, I am going to include the vlog footage and like fill in the blanks. But if you do want to see a vlog of what me and the House of Wheels, if you don't know who that is, that's Laura, Malibu and Liam, we got up to, it's all on Malibu's vlog, which is linked in the description. And if they still do cards up there, always get this wrong, still getting this wrong. Wouldn't think I've been doing this for like two years, is it? God, I've been doing this a long time. Still love it though. But yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be talking about my experience meeting the cast of RuPaul's Drag Race. If you do enjoy this video, be sure to leave a big thumbs up, subscribe, you know, and turn on those notifications. You're all probably like, wait, this twink is still alive? He's still alive? He's still going? He didn't die? He's alive? Well, yeah. I'm alive. And follow my social medias linked in the description. Let's get into it because I'm so excited to like relive this with you guys and it's gonna be fun. It's a roller coaster of like emotions and like everything in between. But yeah, we're just gonna go straight for it because that's what we do here. Yay! Okay, so the tour took place in December and I actually booked my meet and greet ticket relatively late because I weren't sure if I was going for a long time. Malibu and Liam had booked their tickets weeks, almost months ago and like they knew they were going and they kept saying, are you coming, are you coming, are you coming, are you coming? And I was like, oh, I want to, but I don't know. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. I eventually booked the ticket, and honestly, girls, best thing I ever did. Like, she has made some choices in 2019, but that one was one of the good ones, okay? Like, that was one of the good decisions that she made. Definitely. Loved it. Perfect, spectacular, beautiful, never the same, never been done before. That thing Lady Gaga says in American Horror Story that I forgot. I actually booked the last <laughs> meet and greet ticket in the whole venue. And if that isn't sign of like fate, then girls, I don't know what is because... You know what? I was just so excited. Like, I was excited to see the house again because obviously we don't get to see each other a lot over the year because obviously I live in Liverpool, Malibu lives in Melksham, Liam lives in Huddersfield slash Leicester, and Laura lives in London. So we don't get to see each other all the time. But when we do, it's just so nice. Oh, I just love the house. Hey, house. I know you're all watching. I know we're all talking about this in the group chat right now. Then I came to the day of the show. Hey everyone, okay, so guess who's breaking their YouTube hiatus? It's me. Right, we're gonna do an update video as to why I've been away. There's no reason, I've just been busy, like really busy. But now I'm like less busy, so it's all good. Okay, and today we're gonna be vlogging because that's something I've wanted to like dabble with for a while. And we're heading to Manchester to see the Drag Race UK tour. Yes! Okay, I'm gonna be accompanied by the legendary House of Wheels. Which if you don't know, that's my friend. It's Malibu, used to be Poison TV Queen. Now it's Malibu. Laura and Liam, AKA the Twink. The Farmer, the Dom Top, and the Empress. I will catch up with you guys when we get onto the train to Manchester or just beforehand. Also, talking about hands, look what I did. I've got meet and greet and I've got to have a cast on and it's just not a vibe. And we're going out afterwards and ugh, it's just not a vibe. 
But anyway, yeah, I will catch up with you guys later. I'm running a little late. But yeah, I'm super excited for today. I can't wait to see the house. I can't wait to get drunk. I can't wait to meet the queens. And it feels good to be back on camera. Also, how good do I look? Ignore that. Ignore that. See you in a bit. And oh my god. Okay. Compose. Well, um, I arrived in Manchester where the show was in the Palace Theatre. Gorgeous venue, by the way. Like, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and I met up with the house. Yeah, I haven't spoken since I was in the house, but look who's here! It's the house! Yay! 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 We're going to the Drag Race UK tour. Oh no, we're not gonna fucking make it at this rate. Oh. It's Malibu, it's actually a bitch in real life. Fucking crazy. Just gonna put that out make there. Right? Make She's mega fucking fuming! <laughs> so, anyway, um, yeah, we're going to the meet and greet, and then we're going to the show, and then we're getting pissed. Yes! Okay, so I will catch up with you guys later, because as you know, I don't really like vlogging, I'm not good at it. But let's go for it anyway. And also, there's no Alyssa tonight, and that's upsetting. Malibu, yeah. what's your verdict on no Alyssa? Um, I'm not happy because I was ah! excited. <laughs> I was very, very, very harsh. I was really excited to see Alyssa, but the RuPaul's Drag Race girls like, yes, I would have gone alone anyway if they were there. But Alyssa was a plus, and that's why I was willing to like probably oh, spend the extra. Really? Oh, and sad, that's the tea sad. with Malibu. So yeah, I will be back when we're at the meet and greet, if I remember. If we go Ma to the meet and greet. If we get, we're gonna get to the meet and greet. If I remember, I'll film the meet and greet. I feel like Malibu will be filming his anyway, so I gotta get to film mine. I'll be filming Are you not? Malibu. I don't know, because I don't really like watching them back, because I find it really Oh, I should have charged awkward. my phone. She finds it very, very harsh. But I mean, the viewers like it, so mm. I'm gonna give them Also, can I just say, she is so close to 1K, Come so really can we get her to 1K already? Not really, I'm 100 away. You've got, that's very far. Yeah. Ah! We need to get to 1k. Thank you. By, hopefully really by the end of the year, we should be. I mean, next year is more realistic. No, no, by the end of the year. She'll be at 1k by the end of the year. We'll be cut our thing now. She'll be in order by the end of the year. She will. Oh, so I will see you all soon. Bye. In the hotel, it was at first, it was just Liam and Malibu together. And because they had to beat the mug and do the hair and style the weave and, you know, cinch for the gods. Meanwhile, it me, I can easily just get away just doing my hair, changing my outfit, throwing on some highlighter, and yeah, ready to go. Love that for me. So, and then eventually Laura joined us, and in true House of Wheels fashion, we got our McDonald's in the hotel room, had a kiki, had a laugh. Oh, I just love it. It's so good. If only you could all see what goes on in those hotel rooms. My God, some of the conversations, ladies, like, the House of Wheels are not afraid to go there. Let's just say that. Okay, did I just expose my house? Sorry, house. So then, at around six-ish, me, Malibu and Liam all went to the theatre for the meet and greet. Laura didn't have meet and greet because it, she didn't even know she was coming. Liam bought her ticket for her, so we stand a generous mother. And then we went to the theatre. There was a lot of queuing. Like, straight off the bat, a lot of queuing. It said on the ticket, please arrive at, I think it was 7, 7 o'clock, or you won't get in, or like, it'll be rushed or something. Or was it six? It said arrive at some hour to avoid disappointment or busyness or something. And we got there early and we didn't actually get in until half six or half seven. It was half past something, but yeah. So I was a bit like, boss events, really? You're gonna, you know, not allow us to be tardied, but you're gonna be tardied? Okay, I see you, boo. I see you. So then we got into the theatre and... There was like four queues to meet the queens. So we queued up outside the theatre. Then we queued up inside the lobby of the theatre. Or atrium. Forget the word. Then we queued on some stairs. I was like, okay. The queue would like move and then to another queue. And I was a bit like, I just want to meet the queens. I just want to meet some queens. I just want to meet, I just want to meet, I just want to meet some queens. Hey! Eventually, we got into this corridor or like communal room area where the meet and greet was taking place and oh my god like if you've been to a Rue girl meet and greet 
you know how exciting it is. Like, it's just so exciting. It's so fabulous, and it's so, like, fierce, and it's so... It's just lovely. And then if you have the House of Wheels there, it's just so much nicer. I just love it so much. Like, so much. It's just that good. I live for these things, as you can probably all tell by now. Like, so the queens were set up in two groups because it was the whole cast. Like, the entire cast of RuPaul's Drag Race UK Season 1. And for the money I paid, this was so worth it. Like, I was... Oh, Possibly one of the best meet and greets I've ever had. Like, that's how good it was. The queens were perfect, and we got plenty of time with them. They were all very chatty. You don't get that a lot with all queens, so it's just nice to see, do you know what I mean? First up, I met um, Something Wong, Davina DeCampo, and Vinegar Strokes. And this one was a bit of a blur. Like, it all happened, like... Like that. That's what happened. So I walked over to them and Vinegar just hauled her hands out and was like, Hey gay boy! And I was like, Oh bitch, yes! And then she like hugged me and then something wrong got involved and Davina got involved. So it was like this big four-way hug and it was just so cute. It was so nice. I loved it. And the picture came out pretty well. That is how you start a meet and greet, is what I'm going to say, ladies. Like... They were so nice and just so lovely and I can't fault something wrong, Vinegar Strokes or Davina at all. Like they're just so engaging, interactive and they make you feel loved. That's something that was prevalent throughout this entire experience. The queens really made you feel loved and that's really nice. Next up it was Cheryl and Blue Hydrangea. Now this one was, oh my god I love this one as well. Blue recognised me from YouTube, which I didn't expect because, like I said, being on a bit of a hiatus, not really done much at all. I thought they recognised Malibu, which they did, so she is totally deserving because she is a hard-working bitch. Love you, Queen. But yeah, Blue recognised me and I was like... That's me! Oh my god, wasn't expecting it. Like, wasn't expecting it. So that was lovely. And Cheryl is just so down to earth as well. Like, I loved meeting Cheryl and Blue. But that was one of my favourite experiences. Like, being recognised is kind of cool. I won't lie, it's really cool. It doesn't happen a lot. Hardly ever happens. Happens, like, I like, count on this hand how many times it's happened. But yeah, it was cool. I also had a cast on my right wrist because I did have an accident, like, two days before. And the queens noticed, obviously, because it's like this big splint thing on my wrist. And Cheryl made me laugh. She was like, babe, babe, how did you do it, babe? And I was like, oh, girl, you do not want to know. Wanking accidentally, then, babe. Been wanking too much, hasn't he? Wanking. My impression of Cheryl Hall is not good, so I apologise for that. And I was like, oh, honestly, not that far off. Slipped in KFC and her face went, Oh, it's fine though. Like, you know, where there's blame, there's a claim. And she went, You know what, babe? You're right. You're right, babe. Get that KFC coin, girl. And I was like, I will. I will get that KFC coin. That was fun. <laughs> like, such a fun experience. Right, next up was my meeting with Crystal. Scaredy Cat and Goffy Kendall on, I won't lie, do have a bit of a crush on Goffy Kendall. I do. I do. It's no secret. It's no secret. And meeting her was something that I'd want to do for a while. So when I saw this tour and then I like, got the meet and greet and when I saw it in the flesh for the first time, I was like, she also has merch. Hold on. So um, Goffy was selling prints. Ah, uh, look how cute it is. Like, look how stunning she is, by the way. Yeah, and of course she signed it, and that was just really nice. And it says, So glad to finally meet you, Mikey. Have so much fun, Goffy Kendall. Love her. Absolutely love her. That same day, we did a bit of a House of Wheels gift exchange, and Liam bought me a Goffy Kendall scented candle. Yeah. Like, look at that. The fact that this is a thing, stunning. Smells stunning. Would recommend candle wax candles. 
for Drag Race scented candles. So yeah, meeting Goffy was amazing, and then I spoke to Scary as well, and like told her that I really love her music, and that Bedroom Queen and My Lives are like jams and I love them and like I love their visuals and what she stands for. She seemed to really appreciate that so that was nice like I and I do generally love her music. It's actually my Tinder anthem, Nine Lives, so that's how much I love it. It's just really good. It's a bop, it's a tune, it's a slayage. Um, back to Goffy. Goffy actually recognised me, I think, from, like, Insta and Twitter, so that was nice. I was like, she was like, it's Mikey, right, isn't it? And I was like, it is. So that was fun. Crystal, as well, is stunning in person. Like, she's so nice, she's so humble, she's so chatty. Like, all the queens were so chatty, but I feel like I can't pinpoint a favourite. They were all just so stunning and, like, gorgeous and, like, fabulous in every single way. Yeah, that was amazing. And then finally, it was Bagger and the Vivian. And the Vivian is from my area anyway. And I used to work in a bar where she frequents. And she has performed there a few times. So she knows me as the boy from this bar, which I'm not going to lame because they don't deserve promo from me sorry first thing she asked me was how is bar and i was like oh girl oh. kind of quit there because i did i quit and bagger um was again i met bagger before lovely amazing queen dead down to earth can't fault any of the queens so that was the meet and greet experience, and it was just perfect. Like, I couldn't have asked for a better meet and greet experience with the queens. Like, everyone on Drag Race UK is just so down to earth, and they seem very thankful as well, which is something you don't get a lot with Rue Girls. Like, there's usually, like, this level of, I am a celebrity, I am incredible, and they are, like, they, they are, they're rightfully allowed to do that because they are stars in their own right. But with the UK girls, I didn't get that. They are just so loving and, like, welcoming. And that was amazing. And then the show, my God, the show can't fault it. Like, I'm not going to go into full detail about the show because that's on Malibu's vlog. Go see it. It's, it's something you can't talk about. You have to, like, witness it. I, like, talking about it will not give it justice, so go watch Malibu's vlog if you want to see footage from the show and some more bits of me. Hey guys, so the meet and greet is over. Liam, be the tripod. I'm the tripod. Liam's the tripod. Je suis un tripod. So, yes, we just met the queens. It was fucking amazing. I am shook. Tell us what happened. Here's Malibu's rundown. We got recognised. <laughs> we got recognised. <laughs> I mean, same, but I don't have a YouTube channel. I'm just famous. Wait, Liam should have a YouTube channel. Let us know if Liam should have a YouTube Liam should. You should. You should. Anyway, we got recognised. I got recognised by Cheryl, Goffy, and Blue. But Goffy is like my Mikey celebrity. Got boner, basically. Yeah, I did. Goffy, if you're watching, it me. was hard and it was perking Cheryl all night. Yes, I was. Well, well how could you not, though? I mean, look at her. She is like stunning. And she signed my poster. Ah! Now she's getting a restraining order. She loves Which me. I'll be drafting. Yay! We stand a lawyer. So yeah, we are waiting for the show. We've got our drinks. I didn't pay for this one. Liam did because he's my sugar daddy now. Are you hun? With a black card. Yeah, I have a black card. She has a black rich. card because she's from Leicester. Black card. Excuse me, I'm from Yorkshire. Black card. Oh, black card. <laughs> yeah, she got a black card. She's got that really? good credit. She's got good credit. I have credit score. Or has Ian got good credit? Get a credit score? The way you just said score was the most farmer thing I've ever heard. So about. yeah, we're waiting for the show. Have you ever seen Malibu's vlogs? She records the whole show, start to finish. Well, I'm not gonna do that. No, I, I record the whole show. Yeah, she I uses Liam's time. footage because she cries when she sees the Vivian. Well, Cheryl of Alaska. Alaska. Yeah, I shed tears. So yeah, that's yeah, about... her had died. Oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> she started playing so far gone, and I was like. Hold on to yeah, me. that was the thing that happened. So yeah, I'm not going to be recording the whole show because I don't want to. But that's your business, not mine. I'm not recording the whole show. So yeah, day. we'll catch you up later and I'll probably be drunk and that's okay. He'll but be drunk and he'll be vomiting on the bed. Okay, bye. And then after the show, we're just going to touch upon this a little. It was quite an ordeal, like the night. This is why the vlog stopped because everything went a bit up and down. 
Like, we went to Kiki for the official after party. And can I just say, right, you two have an amazing club. I love Kiki. The house loves Kiki. We all love Kiki. So thank you for putting on such an amazing after party. And, like, not, like, the drinks are quite cheap in there as well, which, you know what? That's what I love about my gay bars. The drinks are usually a lot cheaper, which is fabulous. And the music was popping. They played Break Up Bye Bye twice. And, yeah, that's enough for me. Whilst I was at this club, though, um, uh, can I expose myself? I might have to. Well, I've said already that I do have a bit of a crush on Goffrey Kendall, which is no surprise to anyone. And did see her out of drag on Grinder. Did send the message. Yeah. Not a came about it, like, at all, so, no juicy gossip there. Then, I, basically, my friend Laura is, she's a big supporter of Bagger, and Bagger recognised Laura from her Instagram, Verity Graydon. If you've not seen her memes, like, seriously, check Laura's memes out, they're just that good. So, they were, like, speaking, like, for a little bit, and hugging and taking pictures, and I asked Bagger if Goffy was single, which, ugh, yeah, bit embarrassing. And she was like, yeah, uh, yeah, babes, I'll jump into a get her for you. And I went, yes. She, yeah, that happened. And I remember, like, crossing paths with Goffy and, like, showing her a, a note on my phone saying, is Goffy single? Like, in looking back on it, really embarrassing and like i'm sorry goffy's probably not gonna watch this but yeah it was embarrassing i'm sorry i had a few drinks yeah probably the worst fanboy moment i've ever had in my life but let's just think like, pretend that didn't happen yeah sometimes that's better <laughs> much better then we got kicked out of a premier in yeah that's a whole other story honestly this trip was amazing that's, a wonderful, that's how we're going to end this video. This trip was amazing. If you have any questions about any of the queens or what, want some expansions, leave a comment below. We'll have a discussion because it was such a good night. Like, the queens worked so hard. Voss events worked so hard. Everyone worked so hard. I absolutely loved this tour. I loved seeing the house again. I loved meeting all these queens. Like, they were all lovely. Yeah. So I cannot fault that tour at all. Can't fault the queens. Had a lovely time. And that's going to be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, again, leave a big thumbs up. Subscribe, you know, and hit that notification bell. And as I say in all of my videos, until next time, guys, stay safe, be happy, and keep on jamming. Bye, guys.